And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 45 summoner quest. So I am joined once again by Honey Jade, and also on voice chat with us today is Zero. Say hello. Hello. Hello, everyone. So um, we're here at the Apkula Falls in Old Gridania. Um, this is where you go to do the summoner quest after you've unlocked it at level 30. I am using the Battle Mage gear set from Brave Flocks and also the level 44 um, Grand Company weapon and just a bunch of crafted accessories that I crafted myself. Uh, so yeah, so let's now talk to Yimhitra and see what we have to do. So the quest is called Allegan Attire and Yimhitra says, um, Yimhitra wishes to share with you her thoughts on dealing with Tristan. So, greetings Mifri, though it's good, um, good to see you, I am afraid I have yet to ascertain uh, Tristan's ultimate objective. I only know that he is cunning and brutal, and will stop at nothing to achieve his purpose. Um, as matters stand, uh, we um, but chase after his, this man's shadow. Um, such a straightforward uh, pursuit will, I believe, leave us ever one step behind. Um, our sole advantage is the treasure we possess that Tristan appears to c cover. Um, eventually his desire will bring him to us. Um, where and when Tristan will strike I cannot say, but it, it is unlikely to be on a field of our choosing. Um, thus I suggest we prepare for an inevitable conflict as best we may. Um, as fortune would have it, the ruins of Mordona may have provided us with a new source of strength. Uh, word amongst the sons is that a set of evokers attire um, has been unearthed. Um, made during the reign of the Allegan Empire, these enchanted garments were sewn for the exclusive use of summoners. I can only imagine the degree of which they will enhance your already impressive powers. Um, the man supervising excavation efforts at um, St. Koinax Find, uh, Rambrose, is a dear friend of mine. Um, in light of our circumstances, I am certain that he will consent a request um, that uh, you be allowed to don the attire. Um, shall we pay him a visit? Okay, so we need to go to um, Mordona, so let's teleport to Revenant's Toll. Okay, so here we go. We have to go straight to the St. Connex Fine, so let's run straight there. So to get there from Revenant's Toll, it's right here. Southeast is the direction you want to head. And you can just follow the path the whole way so you don't aggro any of these random monsters that are beside the road. And it really doesn't take that long to get there. We have this sort of really weird, like, bubbly... It looks like we're in a big bubble sort of weather right now in uh, Mordona. And there right in front of us is the Crystal Tower, which I featured in another episode. So it's a very interesting zone, and I think with each ex um, new major patch release it's only going to get more interesting. I think it is, nevertheless. Yep. So let's see, let's see, where is the guy we want? Aha, uh -huh, here he is, Rambrose. He's the one you speak to a lot when you're unlocking the Crystal Tower. Let's see what he has to say. So it says, Ah, Yimhitra, I suspected you would make an appearance before long, and I presume this fine lady is the new summoner I've heard so much about. Um, yes, hopefully the first of many. Now pray tell me, Rambrose, has the discovery of Allegan made Evoker attire been confirmed? Um, it has, truly an historical find. Um, then I would ask a boon of you, my friend. Uh, you recall the uh, predicament of which I sp uh, spoke? Our chances of survival would be greatly improved if you would consider allowing Mifri to wear the Allegan's garments. Um, hmm, well, she is a summoner, after all, and I must confess t uh, to no small degree of scholarly uh, curi curiosity as to the effect of the tower the attire will have on one with the appropriate training. Um, these finds are however the result of much sweat and even a few tears on the part of our excavation team. It is a frustrating task at times and I fear they 
will be loath to part with the garments without some measure of recompen recompense for their efforts. Um, allow me, though, to f offer a solution. Um, metallic uh, monstrosities of elegant construction known as uh, Mirinites have risen from the dig site scattered across Mordona. Needless to say, they pose a dangerous threat to our excavators. Um, I suggest you speak with my free field researchers and dispose of any such nasty um, hindrances of their work. Um, I dare say uh, they will then gladly surrender the pieces of the attire they hold. Um, once I have confirmed our dig sites suitably empty our, of armoured horrors, I will see you rewarded uh, with the garment that I myself recovered from the ruins. Okay, so we need to go to these, uh, I guess, excavation sites and um, kill any monsters which are nearby. So, have you? There you are. Okay, let's go. Right then. <laughs> I'll try not to aggro anything on the way. Huh. Okay, about here's, here's, <laughs> here's the first one it's called the muddled oh. researcher. It should reset though. Yeah, don't attack it. Just let it reset. Okay, here we go. So um, a mirror knight lurks just over yonder. I can scarce think straight with that thing wandering about. Oh god, it approaches. <laughs> I forgot that how much that scared me the first time. Oh, that's that one done. So, let's speak. So, I have to talk to him again. So it says, uh, Phew, you have my thanks. Now I might finally be able to concentrate on my tasks. Um, if I'm not mistaken, you were in search of the Evoker's attire. Um, I have one of its wondrous pieces right here. You are most welcome to it. Okay, so that is the legs, I believe. So let's see how they look. So, oh. They're like... Not really anything, are they? They're just like a a band for <laughs> the foot. Um, hang on, let me just show you another outfit, another top. Let's. It's a mini skirt, basically. Okay, fair enough. The kind of mini, mini skirt, skirt, so. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, let's head now to the next place. I will do a fashion show of artifact gear once I've finished every single set. <laughs> Get them all to 50, so where's the next guy? Here he is. So, he says, uh, Praise the god, Rambro said an adventure would, would be along. Please, you must destroy the horrid construction. Okay, yeah, another one. I got something else aggroing me. Sorry, I'm just making things a bit harder. She said. Hey! Ha! I'm just kidding. Hey. Oh my, mystery. Oh lordy. Okay, so almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. Okay, successfully murdered, so let's talk to the researcher. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for eliminating the source of my recent nightmares. I do, um, I do not ordinarily sh uh, shudder, so um, you see, but um, adject terror has that effect on folk. Um, now I hear from Yenhitra that you um, have need of this elegant garment. Um, I should be glad to see it put to practical use, rather than uh, shut away in some dusty vault.
Okay, so that's the gloves. So let's put those on. Aha, so they look like a, a normal red pair of gloves. Great. Okay, moving on. Well, technically they're odd gloves, I say, so... Yeah, like one of them's a glove and the other one's just like a ring. <laughs> or an arm warmer. So. Yeah. So where's the next one? Next one's right here somewhere. There they are. A seemingly unmoved researcher. Okay. So it says, Mirror Knights, uh, yes, they have become quite bo bothersome. Um, I would be most appreciative were you to eliminate the creaking pest that has been plaguing me of late. Okay. Yeah, another one. Button. I keep getting the wrong button. <laughs> casting at the same time. <laughs> Talk to the researcher again. So it says, uh, fascinating. I never uh, thought it would be fortunate enough to observe a conflict against an elegant construction at such close quarters. Um, this has been a deeply enriching experience. If the price is to be my piece of the evoker's attire, then so be it. Okay, so they're the boots. So let's try on the boots. Boots, boots, boots. Here they are. Aha. So now at least the legs are covered up a bit. Yep. So, right. So let's now head back to Rambrose. Okay, Bradley, he will give you your fourth piece. Mm -hmm. A horn. Yep. So let's see. Ah, the champion of my researchers returns. Um, with the rumours now free of mirror nights, the excavations can proceed at a far more satisfying pace. Uh, trembling of fear for one's life makes it astonishingly difficult to handle ancient artefacts that have a tendency to crumble into dust. Um, you have performed a valuable duty for us, Mifri. As promised, uh, you shall have the summoner's garment uncovered by my own hand as your reward. Um, ah, yes, you... Itra mentioned she would await you at Apkula Ap Falls. Um, it seems there was no doubt in her mind that you would succeed here. Okay, so let's go straight back to Gridania. Quickly head there. It does feel great being able to do all these quests and see all these different storylines, that's for sure. And get all these different pieces of artifact gear. I did love yeah, collecting these artifact gear in Final Fantasy XI as well, to be honest. Every um, class and job have their own kind of unique story behind it, and some of it can be touching, others can be yeah. less than nice. And if you've seen all of my crafting videos, you'll see all the crafting story as well. Because even all the crafting classes and gathering classes have their own story involved as well with the guilds. So anyway, here's uh, Yamhitra. So it says, uh, So, this was how the summoners of old were clad. Well, more or less. It is unfortunate that the ruins have yet to surrender the final piece to the sons. Um, these garments, aside from the colouring, they are identical to the garb Tristan wore. Um, he will find no edge against you, though, through his equipment. Um, when you next face the murderous Cad, a victory will uh, be decided purely by who has um, is the more talented summoner. Um, to that end, it is time you drew on your experience of defeating the primal Garuda. Um, yes, her aura of fickle violence is uh, palpable upon you. Um, it is uh, daunting to imagine an eggy born of the Lady of the Vortex. Um, such unpredictable um, ferocity um, should serve you well. 
um, I will search for a suitably airy location in which to perform the austerities of wind. Um, you, my dear summoner, uh, must needs prepare yourself, body and mind, for the trials ahead. I shall be waiting. So let's complete the quest. So did I get the headpiece? Yes, I did. Yep. Okay, here's the horn. There we Aha. go. <laughs> so now she is uh, wearing the summoner horn. Does that technically make her horny? Who knows? Did I'm tish? I was just about to make that comment. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, no, it would not technically make um, someone something horny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, let's it talk now to uh, Yamhitra before Honey J gets carried away. So. Um, <laughs> hey. uh, I'm just kidding. Anyway, the quest is called Austerities of Wind. We will get the ability Spur, which it says increases a pet's physical and magical attack power by 40% for 20 seconds. Cool. So it says, um, Yenhitra wishes to attempt the next summoning ritual. So it says, um, I sense Garuda's restless um, essence railing within the confines of your etheric channels. It is time we granted it release with the Austerities of Wind. Um, thankfully, I already have in mind a location that well suits our elemental purposes. Um, you are familiar with the floating city of Nim in Outer Lenosia? Um, as you uh, might imagine, the aspect of air is entirely um, dominant in the area of those suspended isles. Um, pray make your way there as soon as you feel prepared. I am quite excited to see this new Eggy. Okay, so we need to go to Yamhitra, the floating city of Nim. So we need to go to Outer Lenosia. The quickest teleport is Camp Overlook. So let's go. Outer Lenosia, Camp Overlook, there it is. Yeah, um, for this one you have to actually um, defeat the actual um, primal fight in your main story mission, which I found out. Um, because I tried to accept it and it said um, you can't get it because you haven't defeated um, the primal Garuda. Ah. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so getting um your Garuda Eggy, you have to defeat the primal first. Cool. That's good to know. And thankfully for me that is a long time in the past. Yep, for me it had to be um have some helping hands with Um yep. also for this mission this is a single instance, so you have to do this on your own. Eek. Yep. <laughs> Let's hope I one-shot it and I don't have an embarrassing, very long run back from uh, Camp Dragonhead. Don't worry, I'll be by your I'll be by your side if you do accidentally um, knock yourself out. Yep. Okay, here's Yamhitra. So I'm actually gonna try and prepare myself, except I don't have protect. I don't have stone skin. I don't really have anything really. So. Yeah, that's the downside of being a um, summoner. You don't have stone skin or anything, so... Yeah, so I'm just gonna... Not that I even need this ability, but I'll just put on my hot bar for later. So anyway, so here's Yamhitra. So, she says, um, shall we begin? I assume that um, as this is your third such experience, you have been... You have by now grown familiar with the steps of the ritual. Um, thus, as before, I... Uh, would have you concentrate on your shifting etheric balance. Imagine the energy within you howling through your veins um, in an incessant gale of screeching wrath. Um, <laughs> Garuda's essence will be the on will be only too eager to harness those raging currents and shape them into a worldly avatar. Once Garuda Eggy has appeared, it falls to you to tame its fury. Okay, so it says duty calls commence for austerities of wind. If your level is above 49, it will be synced. Uh, must be taken to type of water magic. Okay, you probably have to disband party for now for me to go in. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just disband, so go. Let's go in. And obviously the glow around is obviously because it's a fight coming up, so proceed. Good luck, you're gonna need it. Yay. <laughs> I always have um, physique or the arcanist heal ready to be used sort of thing.
Still got your heels, there it is. so. Okay, so I'm going to start out with a Bio 2, then a Miasma, then a Bio, then a Ruin 2 to blind her, and then just bam Ruin, and hope that the Garuda pet takes threat very soon. Don't you mean the tank? Titan pet? Yeah, the Titan Egg, yeah, to take um, threat <laughs> for me. I'm going to renew Bio 2, and then Miasma again, then Bio again, just renew my dots. Two again, and it's bam ruin. So she's now at roughly 75%. Also, like, use your um. I'm gonna use the Rouse ability just to increase the Titan a bit. Oh my. Yeah, well, I was thinking that you can use some of your um, Ether Flow abilities as well, like a uh, Festa. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. Uh, virus. Where's Festa? What does Festa do? Um, oh yeah, it blows up all the darts. It? Yeah, it, it, it blows up all the darts and um, the more darts that your opponent has, the more damage um, your opponent will take. Uh -huh. okay, so I'm going to just refresh the darts. So Bio 2, my Asma, Bio, I'm going to use Bane because the brand is really <laughs> Yeah, you have to take those out as well. Okay, I'm going to try and kill them quickly. Kill the damage being killed. Sustain on my oh crap. Almost died because all the feathers blew up at the same time, but I'm fine. <laughs> my Hedra just uh, healed me. So let's see. Again, Bio 2. My Asma. Bio. Just a uh, spam thing. I'm gonna use Bane on these plums. Don't forget you try um, disaster as well. So. Oh, there's a Charada egg here, apparently. And that must be the mini version of the Garuda. So. Yeah. There's also a Sapana eggy. Let me dot those up. Definitely gonna take out before getting Garuda. So. Yeah. yeah. Because it, I, I know that usually with those sort of fights, when Gerard and Sapana are out, the Ruda becomes like a to all damage. Okay, those two eggs are down, so let's now finish the Ruder off to that 20% health. Bio 2, my asthma, Bio, this bam ruin until the end, hopefully. Quick sustain on my Titan. Esther, she did aerial blast, but I'm gonna just destroy it. No problem. Okay. Almost there. There you go. Get rid of the feet. Duty complete. I didn't think those plums would hit me that hard, to be honest. Yeah, that caught me uh, by surprise as well when I um, done it. Uh, I just somehow um, got through it through the skin of my teeth. So. Yeah, I think I'm. It's good though because I've kept my weapon exactly up to date by having this level 44 uh, weapon from the Grand Company because it's very. It is quite powerful for this level range. Yeah. So let's see. So. Um, Yamitra says, Masterfully done, Mifri. Garuda's um, eggy power is now yours to wield. Uh, your aptitude for the art of summoning has exceeded my highest expectations. I honestly could not have found a more valuable partner for my research. Uh, let us return to Apkula Falls. I am sure you must be exhausted after this ordeal. Okay, so let's go back to Gridania yet again. Okay, so let's go quickly to um, Abkula Falls and see what we need to do. And then we'll get our next um, ability for Summoner. Yep. 
once you do um, get it, your normal summon will be um, your Garuda summon. So bye bye, Emerald. Sure. So no more carb <laughs> no more carbuncles anymore. Carbuncles on this, you feel like going back as an alchemist class. Yeah. Okay. So now that summoner is basically done to 45, my only two classes remaining are white mage and black mage. So probably I'll be doing white mage next. So anyway, let's talk to Yamhitra. So Yamhitra says, uh, with the addition of Garuda Eggy, you can now command three powerful avatars. Um, as you have no doubt realized, however, each of these um, entities has a particular role in which it excels. Um, for Garuda Eggy, that role is unleashing magic to strike down distant foes. The elegant tests describe equal parts um, joy and apprehension at how faithfully the summoned being um, displayed the original primal's uh, volatile disposition. Um, experiment with your eggy allies and most effective use of the individual abilities will soon become clear. Uh, with such mastery of the art at your disposal, um, I shall uh, almost pity Tristan when next he chooses to confront you. Um, before that time comes, however, I will endeavor to pierce the mystery of, this, of his motivations. Uh, may your discoveries bring you new confidence, Mithri. So we're going to complete the quest to get the ability Spur. There you go, new ability learned. So it says, uh, when you have the soul of the summoner equipped, casting the spell summon will now call upon Garuda Eggy instead of Emerald Carbuncle. Okay, so let's, uh, let's summon the Garuda for the sake of it. <laughs> there you go, here's my Garuda Eggy. So that's it, I now have all the Eggies available for Summoner in the game right now. Um, that was fun, wasn't it? So, Congratulations. Anyway, thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, goodbye from Mifri, goodbye from Honey Jade, and goodbye from Zero. Bye! Thank you, bye everyone!